How you doing, Big Hickory 357? I'm here with y'all. I hadn't done a, I'm going to do a video today on this bug out bag that I've got. Um, thought maybe y'all would like to see some of what I carry and whatever. Um, if you saw my uh, video the other day, Ruck Up and the Appalach, this is the pack I was carrying. I thought I'd kind of show you what it is. Of course, it's multicam. Um, I like multicam in the pack because it kind of blends in with the camis that I was wearing the other day. Uh, it works very well on different trains. If you look at the whole history of multicam, you'll know that if it's more green background, it looks green. If it's more brown, it looks more brown. And if you got blue jeans on, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is surplus. I picked this one up for like 45 bucks. Um, only had been used once by one previous soldier, so I was able to figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to kind of go through this stuff. Kind of what I keep in here. Um, and some of the reasoning of why I do. Some of you will have different stuff. Some of you will agree. Some of you will just dis not disagree, agree, whatever. That's your opinion. Anyway, I do keep um, writing utensils. Um, they can come in handy for doing impromptu range cards. Um, notes you want to take about terrain, drawings, even write down, you know, and draw stuff. They come in handy. Um, I do keep paracord quick at hand. As you notice, this is on the outside. Um, you never know when you need to lash, and I've got several different lengths. This is a face shield by Salt Armor. I did a video on them. If you look back through my videos, you'll see them. I keep this one brand new because that's its purpose. It's here in my bug out bag. I've got another one. This one's green with a skull on it. Sharpie. You know what a Sharpie is. I got a fine point and a broad tip. On the outside, I also keep some tinder. Um, and if you look right there, it says fire tinder. We're going to try to keep it, and I'm allowed to say this, we're going to keep it marine proof. In this, you'll see I've got some just regular old cotton balls. I didn't, this isn't light my fire. This, this is none of that. It's just the cotton ball, y'all. It'll take a spark really great. You watched my other video the other day about Ruck Up in the Appalach with this pack of mine. You saw me get this stuff. Yep, I put this in there. It's resin. That's right. It goes right in the fire kit. That's one of many fire kits that I have. You notice it's right here on the outside, too. Go down in here. Camo. Face camo. Um, come on, open up. Got a little mirror in there. Camo paint on the outside. Lightweight. Quick to get to if I need it. If not, second pack or a second pouch these are some odor barrier bags um they're just plastic bag but they come in handy zip ties never know when you need to zip tie somebody's mouth shut <laughs> um more cordage this one was a cam jam i got it on clearance it was only a couple bucks hey come in handy more fire starting now this magnesium this is handmade by a guy um there's the Phariseum part. I have started a, and it goes right here. I've started a number of fires with this. And as you can see, it barely looks used. This is very soft uh, magnesium, and it shaves very easy. You can also use this handle. Um, that's wood, so if I need to, I can also shave some of that off and use it for tinder. Again, more paracord and my steel. Another fire starting. One, two, starting to get it. This bag right here is blue what goes good with blue well mind you water so stuff that i have that deals with drinking you know emergency purification tablets water purification some tea mint chocolate rubios tea why because hot drinks are really nice and it's all about morale um even got some lemon some beverage base powder lemon lime Little MRE Who Dad pack. Blue, water. Why? Because when I'm stressed, I can just say, oh, blue's water. This one's red. What's red? Fire. Fire is red. Also, black is fire, as charcoal. You look in here, check this out. Again, more fire. Look at that. Another piece of resin. Phariseum rods. Resin. I've got matches fire starting get multiple ways to start a fire and 
um, lighters in there. Again, there's an old saying, two is one and one is none. When If I need to start a fire, I want to be able to start it quick. I don't want to have to play around. And I could lose something. I always want backup. And fire, to me, is very important. Also down in this good old pouch, got a little flashlight. Woo! Um, I got some glue. And some bug repellent. We okay. are in the south. We are in the south. Um, on these outside pouches, now everything doesn't have to be all super cool, tactical, crazy stuff. This is just a Buck Commander Molly pouch that I got on clearance, only for a couple bucks. What's in it? Well, I tell you. I have a GPS and radio. Yes, it's a Rhino 110. They're clearanced out. You can't find them anymore. But it is a GPS, and it is one of those GMRS radios. I also have signal mirror, chem light, and a good compass. Not a POS $7.50 compass. A good compass. Um, spend the extra, spend 20 bucks to get you a good compass. Signal mirror. This right here. Some of you vets out there have seen these and not only seen them, but used them for chem lights. Slide the chem light in. <clears throat> After it's activated, you kind of a little bit directional. And if you look, there's a little hole. You can use a little bit. This pouch <clears throat> is all about um, finding your way. The GPS, um, chem light, um, and the compass. That's on the outside. That's something I may need to get to quickly. See a one quart canteen of water. Um, there is water in it. Here on the other side is my IFAC. Now, this is a standard military issue IFAC. Oh, that is a hot glue. Never, it just slid down in there, so you never know when you need glue. Um, I've got a cat tourniquet in there, bandages, everything. And it's multicam, so that means it's like really cool, right? Medical on the outside. I might need it, and then when I need it, I need it quick. The other day we thought we needed it quick when I cut my finger up there in the Appalach. Here's another radio. This one um, is a Midland GXT. Um, Tactiju 556 and I, we both picked up a set of these. These come with two of them to a pack, and they come in a charger base. They do take uh, rechargeable batteries, and they also... Um, can take four double A's. This one will actually speak to my GPS. So it is calm. Um, calm will be another video. And we'll talk about that. Now for this big inside pouch. Look what we got in here. Look at this. PB2 is powdered peanut butter. If you look right here. Serving size, two tablespoons, 15 servings per, per container. It's got calories, 45 per serving, proteins, sugars, fats. Very light. Net weight is 6.5 ounces. Easy food peanut butter. This right here I picked up from a chain store. It's a casualty blanket, whatever. Um, cost me, I think, 16 bucks. Goes in very nicely. More beverage electrolyte. The reason I have this is because... Sometimes boiled creek water or other stuff like that ain't going to taste that great and you won't want to hydrate. But if you can make it tasty, you're more prone to hydrate. Got some little bungees. One of my old sets of EMT shears that I've had from ever from when I worked with in EMS and still on a truck. Impromptu little fishing kit. This right here is by Night Eyes and I use it with my hammock. And if you've seen my video, there's my Eno. Well, you saw my buddy's Eno. This is mine with straps and hammock. That goes on there as well. This is the SOL Escape Bivy. It has that little material on the inside. It's also breathable. I am 6'4", 280 couple pounds, and I can fit in it. I carry bank line, which is just tarred line. I have two of them. 
Also have a good old fashioned canteen cup, another bandage, little tenders, little spork. Keep a picture of my son. One of my sons, I should say. Another little tool, heavy duty aluminum foil, instant hazelnut coffees, beverage based powders, duct tape in a roll. A silver dollar and you may ask why well you never know when you might be able to use that to trade another thing here is I'm not gonna say much about it but it would identify something about me to somebody not only that one uh, there should be another one in here that identifies a fraternity ah there we go this is also silver You might recognize that symbol. I might want to be able to identify myself to someone friendly. I got some little cut and exacto blades, little odds and ends. In the base, tent stakes, really lightweight. Seasoning. This is some tagine. Uh, it's actually pretty good stuff. A little bit salty, but that's okay. Then in back in here. Look at that, organic olive oil. You're dang right. If we're going to live, we're going to do it right. Various dried meals. This one is scrambled eggs with bacon bits. More meals. Huevos Rancheros. We're going to do it up. Snares. I got these. Um, the Wilderness Outfitters LLC. You know, the Dave Canterbury place. That's where I got those snares. Um... Look at that, vanilla pudding. Instant. Oh, here we go. Steel wool. And I know some of you are thinking, what do you need to clean? No, folks, this is fire starting equipment. Look at that, more snares. Cards. Oh, look at that, a survival blanket. Big hickory right on it. And, oh, what's that, wheat snack bread. You're probably thinking, dang, you got a lot of food. You're right, I do. Spare battery for my radio. If you'll notice around here, I've got various clips. All these um, Night Eyes s beaners I don't like to put my gear on the ground, so if I want, I can hang it up in a tree. Another thing I have is my M-Tech Kukri. I prefer this over a straight machete any day. Um, I have chopped some pretty nice sized logs with this it's mtech you say oh that's cheap gear well when i can get a better one i will but this works very well all of this pack you saw me humping the other day up in the Appalachian. oh i also keep a little look at this little mtech knife from a gas station yeah back in the day when i worked ems i used to call it my shanka bitch so you never know what you have to do but it's a blade, and I think it was 15 bucks, but it'll cut. So this is that pack. Um, it's not the end all of everything that should be in a pack, but with everything you saw right here, and I do carry um, a tarp that goes around the outside, a 12 by 16 camouflage tarp that's in my video I did back last summer with my hammock system when I was out in New Mexico. That also goes on there. So what you see right here, I'm good for days upon days. So anyway, y'all, this is Big Hickory 357. Thought I'd show you my pack, just one of my little setups. And hope you enjoy. Let me hear what you carry in your pack, what you like, what you don't like, what you got questions about. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, pass it on your Facebook page. Share it to everybody. Again, Big Hickory 357, simplified all my Marine Corps friends and family. Hurrah!